What's happening to her nose? It's turning blue. The whole nose has gone purple. What do you mean? Violet, you're turning violet. So, as you can see, I'm starting with a full face of makeup. This is actually a makeup that I wore today. I feel like this is great if, like, you went to work or something or school or whatever, and you came home and you're ready to go out for Halloween. Like, it's a transitional one. So, yeah. I'm going to be starting with my Juvia's Place palette, and I'm going to pick up this shade right here. This is called Bori. This pink is so pretty. I used it in my Halloween video, and it was just so gorgeous if you haven't seen that you should go watch it that pink that pink honey cutest thing i've ever seen i wanted to start with a purple on the lid but then i decided i'm going to use shimmer purple so let's start with the mattes so i'm going to start with bori as you can see the look i had on earlier obviously wasn't anything it's because i knew i was going to film today so i kind of just like laid my base down Next from that color, I'm going to take this color, I think it's called Sobu, and I'm going to blend that directly into my crease. Whereas this one was a little bit higher than my crease, I'm going to put it like directly in my crease. Pretty much. Now I'm going to continue in the crease. We're going to put like four colors in this crease so it's just like really blended and like gradient. So next I'm going to go in with this shade right here. I'm going to use a smaller brush. I'm sorry these brushes aren't like spanking clean but um, I wiped them off, the product off as best as I could, you know. Film a lot of videos, can't be washing brushes every day, put them dry, you know, whatever. I'm going to use this color here from my Beauty Creations Elsa palette. This is a really pretty palette, I really like this one. I'm going to use this like light purple shade right here and I'm going to blend that into my crease also. Oh, do you guys want me to zoom you in? I'll zoom you in. You're like, oh, so far. Starting from the outer lid, I'm just gonna like do little circular motions and like gonna hold my brush like three fourths of the way down. My camera's still filming. But like I was saying, I was saying just like hold your brush really far from the tip and just do like really light strokes going in like circles all throughout the lid and like wind swiper motions in your crease like if anyone cares i don't even know i mean like hey if you care then like now you know right so next i'm going to take that same brush also and i'm going to go into the color right below it which is just this darker purple and i'm going to continue with like light strokes even lighter strokes if possible i'm going to keep that more so to the outer v as well that's pretty good that you can see that like beautiful gradient of the color i'm gonna go in with the brush i used on the pink but i'm not gonna put any more product on it and i'm just gonna blend out the edges literally it's like one in the morning and i've been like really low energy all day honestly i think the reason i was low energy is all day low energy is all what the <laughs> i think the reason i was low energy all day was because i didn't eat like almost all day i was literally in bed like the whole day i just like didn't feel like doing anything i felt like really unmotivated and i was just like laying in bed it was just one of those days i guess i wasn't like sad or depressed or anything i was just like ah, exhausted like you know when you're like exhausted but you really shouldn't be exhausted yeah i was like that type of exhausted so i was just like in bed the entire day okay so yeah, and while being that exhausted, I was too exhausted to like get up and eat, so I literally didn't eat. So I'm like just getting my energy back. I just ate like a plate of food with like potatoes and fish and like okra. If you eat okra, let me know. But yeah, besides the point, let's get back to my makeup. Now I'm gonna use this shade. This is called Makita. So I'm gonna put that on my finger like I usually do, and I'm gonna apply that to my lid. This is so pretty. I've never gotten to use this color before. Oh my god, so pretty, so smooth. I'm in love.
gonna go in with a little bit of the pink shade, just a smidge. I'm just gonna brush off, just lightly blend it in there. child yes okay now i'm gonna go into the inner corners of the eye and for that i'm gonna take my highlighter palette by ColourPop. sound a little bit stuffy oh my god i'm not gonna sick and i'm gonna take this color which was a shade i said that in one of my videos recently one of the halloween ones but yeah obviously it's not there anymore but we're gonna take what's left of it and i'm gonna put it on my inner corners because i feel like i can't do my makeup without doing the inner corners it just doesn't look right to me so yeah I like want to do a mermaid Halloween tutorial look so bad. Tell me guys if you want to see a mermaid Halloween tutorial for me in the comments down below because I really want to do one because I just love that whole art thingy and I just think I'd be such a pretty mermaid, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, tell me if you guys want to see a mermaid tutorial for me because I think I really have to do one. I think I'm also going to put a little bit of that color on my brow bone as well. I'm going to take what's left on the brush. So I'm just using that same little pink shade. I really like this eye makeup, guys. It's a little bit different, you know? And I'm going to use my Lash Paradise Mascara. Before I put my mascara, I'm going to line my eyes. I'm going to line my eyes with this Ico eyeliner. Just for my lashes, not to like do anything special. We're not winging it out. We're just lining our eyes. If I keep looking over here, I'm sorry because that's where my viewfinder is or whatever. So I can see if I'm in focus and also if my video is still recording because I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> I hope it didn't break. And now I'm going to use my Illuminous Slash Paradise by Maybelline. Oh, it's up here. Oh, L'Oreal. My bad. Oh my god. How many times is something going to go wrong with this video? The good graces of God is making me be able to rub it off with such ease. Can you see it? Probably can, but... So that's the eye makeup. Now it's time to do like the splatter on her face. I'm going to be using powder to apply this. So for the splatter across the nose, I'm literally going to work with these colors right here. Because I feel like it, well, from what she said, it was like bluish purplish. And I agree. So I'm going to use these three colors right here and try to like build that color. Hopefully. I'm going to take this like blending brush just crease brush from elf and i'm gonna like just pat color on to my nose and spread it out that color actually just went on a lot stronger than i thought it would i should really like have a picture here or something so i could see what i'm like copying she like takes it right underneath the eye makeup I think that's a pretty good start. Next, I'm going to go in with the purple on top of it. I'm going to use this purple here. The one we use on our eyes, the lighter one. And I'm going to blend that on top of it. Yeah, I think this is going to work. Yep, this is going to do amazing. I saw that they had like veins. So I want to use the veins before I apply all the purple. Because I'm going to use liquid liner to apply the purple. But the purple liquid liner that I'm using is lighter than the purple that I want the veins to be. If you get me, you get me. I don't know. Alright, so I'm going to use this. This is my NYX Bright Lights eyeliner in the color In Vivid Blossom. And um, I'm going to try to make the veins that she has on her face. I'm gonna try to like 
fan it dry just to make sure it's not wet or anything so it's not like moving around and creating a mess because then i'd be like freaking devastated like honestly this is actually like a pretty simple makeup look because actually i'm almost done and i feel like i just started once you have your base down or whatever the rest is pretty easy i'm just gonna go back to applying that purple now on top of it I'm gonna stick to this palette and I'm gonna use this color in between here and I'm just gonna go over the lines with it. So we're gonna do a highlight now. I'm gonna use the pinky highlight. She used the blue highlight, but um I don't have that. So I'm gonna go and use the pink one. And I'm gonna use this pink here for my Gimme More palette. <laughs> and that's called Upgrade. I love doing looks that I can wear the more ashier highlighters. It's pretty bomb. Pretty bomb. Next, I'm going to do my lips. I'm just going to use the color Club Hopper as usual. I literally don't use anything else. And I'll line my lips. Okay, so yeah, I lined my lips, applied some moisturizer. I never really apply liquid lipstick without applying some chapstick first, and then I just like blot off the extra chapstick on the paper towel like I'm about to do right now. Alright, so I'm just going to apply my color pop in the color Tulu, or Tool, I really don't know how to pronounce it still, but um, it's one of my favorite colors, and yeah, I think it looks really prettier, so that's what I'm going to do. I think that's it guys, I think this is the look.